many tickets. I'm, Sheila, you're more familiar um, with that venue. What I've, I've not yet seen the venue. What we, we expect to go up there on Sunday to see the venue. Apparently, it's very small and holds about 125 people. And who's sponsoring it? It's the Pottsville uh, Republican Herald, so it's the local newspaper. And, and the Orangeburg Public Library. That's right, and I didn't even know that until today. So it was something that, as Karen said, these are very um, quickly and loosely formed um, kinds of events and it's, it, so the point is, of course, there is, there is sufficient time for us to start with several other debates over the course of the next uh, 29 or 28 days. That happens a lot. It can happen in three or four days. And it does happen in these political campaigns. And obviously, one should get highest importance to uh, debating uh, the opponent. So uh, if we're, we're actually trying to schedule some debates down in Dolphin County, for example, uh, we have not yet been successful, but we will keep working. We've asked the Patriot News to schedule at least one debate. Thanks, Sheila. If there are any more questions, because I don't want to eat into Sheila's actual time since she showed up, um, you know, talk to me afterwards, or I'll try to take a couple. One more, Eileen. I just have a comment. Yeah. It's not a question. That I, I don't think that our candidates should be scheduling debates that aren't open to the public for all of us to be able to go to. 